It's only on three. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. This is some real. Um, real, real crazy crap. Okay. But let me let my dog, first of all, know that I can still control him from right up in here because it's quite early and he wanted to go outside by himself. And he ain't going to be out there barking at every damn body that walks up and down the street, that's for sure. Not this early in the morning. Like nobody, <laughs> he's, he's, he's crazy, okay? But uh, I want to share this with y'all. Y'all tell me how crazy you think this damn story is. And, you know, and it's, it uh, reminds me of that line that was in that uh, movie. What was it with John Travolta? You know. Ha, 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 I stand alive. Remember that one? I'm sure you do. You remember that line when he said, everybody dumped some on somebody. Man, I always stuck out in my mind. <laughs> he said, the white people dump on the black people. The men dump on the women. The women dump on uh, the kids. He says, so it's a continuous cycle of dumping on one another. Man. And it, it wasn't, it didn't seem it was profi as profound to anybody else <laughs> that was in my circle at that time than me, because I kept wanting to discuss that particular part. And um, it was like it didn't make as big an impact on them as it did me. So I'm flash forwarding to right now, right? And um, we ain't moving. What's going on? Look like I'm hung up somewhere, huh? Anyway, so then when you when I think about uh, this particular um, article, it, it, it really bothers me because I'm I'm saying to myself, oh, really, this is so true. Everybody dumps on somebody. Everybody wants somebody to dump on, you know. Oh, they would never admit it. But everybody, it seems like uh, everybody wants to rule their world. Okay, except they don't just keep it in their world. They bring it on outside. However, this this has a different twist on it. Okay? Now, Indonesia then beat this this woman was flogged a hundred times for adultery, while the man that she had the affair with received fifteen lashes after denying the accusation. Okay. And this is what I'm saying about some of these Muslim countries or you know, they're freaking uh, barbaric as far as I'm concerned. Um, now, if they both didn't get whipped a hundred damn times and all he got to do is say he didn't do it, this is good. This is an example of male domination of female. Okay? Um, black men dominate the or black women. Um, white men dominate white women, okay? Now, whoever is in control of the country will allow this dumb shit to go on. If it's a man, it will. And if it's a woman, you know damn well it's not going to go on. Now, I hope good and well I'm past the two-minute mark because I'm really getting into this. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good to go. So this Indonesian woman was whipped a hundred times for adultery. Oh my God. 
while uh, the guy she had the affair with, he received 15 lashes. Public flogging is common punishment for certain victimless crimes um, in Essay Providence. Province, I'm saying, I'm, excuse me. Human Rights Watch has condemned the practice as barbaric and called for an end to it. On Thursday, an Indonesian woman who confessed to engaging in extramarital sex was publicly flogged a hundred times in Save Province. Oh, wow. Um, and according, the man is married as well. And here's the East Hay Fishing Agency, uh, the AFP reported. And he was the head of the General Investigation Division. No, I'm sorry. That the man was heads the East Ahead Fishing Agency. I'm sorry. The judge couldn't find the accused man guilty of adultery because he denied the charges. The prosecutor said, so they pinned him uh, instead for showing affection to the female partner who is not his wife. They sentenced him to be flogged 30 times, but the Sharia Supreme Court reduced his punishment to 15 times in an appeal. Now, so they did do good. They had him up to 30. I think they both should have got 50. Both of them. You know, if they disrespected their marriage in a relationship that way, they both should have got 50 flags. That's the boundary. Okay? You shouldn't have got married if you want to uh, be able to uh, stick yourself and women freely, and you want to be able to receive men freely, or whatever the hell you're doing, you you should get half of that, because that's a little bit barbaric. It is. A hundred lashes for the woman, 15 lashes for the man. That is crazy. Oh, my God. Anyway, on Thursday, um, anyway, I'm sorry. Uh, um, so now, the appeal gave, gave him the ability to slash his lashes in half. And according to that uh, F AFP reporter, at the scene on Thursday, the woman's flogging was paused because she couldn't bear the pain. Ase is the only province in Indonesia that enforces Islamic law as part of an agreement that gives the region special autonomy from the rest of the nation. It permits flogging as punishment offenses for drinking alcohol, gambling, same-sex relationships, and adultery. So you know America, most of us um, as Americans, if, we, if our asses was over there, we'd be bent and broke off. I mean, let's just tell the truth. We would be broke the hell off because this right here, we engage in all of it. And as a country, we promote it. We, uh, you know, um, without boundaries. We have a lot of alcohol drinking, gambling. Was legal everywhere, so I'm just saying, you better be glad. You better be glad. Human Rights Watch has condemned the practice and says this has got to stop. Um, in October, uh, a 19-year-old girl was flogged 100 times for having sex with an 18-year-old who wasn't her husband. She fainted after the whipping and had to receive treatment from officers on site. In November that year, a female civil servant and the married man she was found to be guilty of having an affair with were both given a hundred lashes. Okay. Her whipping also had to be temporarily stopped because she could not withstand the pain. So then they may have to go back 
later and get your ass whipped. Part two. So a lot of times when we go to these countries that are really ruled by Islamic law, and my father taught me that a long time ago. Uh, uh, and I was like, well, why would you name me Khadija? <laughs> and leave me over. And I'm in this damn cesspool. Um, and you, okay, never mind. That's a whole nother story for a whole different day. These laws, um, Islamic laws, I think are very important when you're traveling and going to Islamic countries, um, to be aware of what some of the laws are, even if you aren't a practicing Muslim, and if you have a Muslim name, or if you're doing something totally egregious to what their culture is, like in Dubai, for instance, if you go to Dubai with that, um, there are a lot, when you're in the Islamic country, you just have to remember, um, when you're in Rome, that's the best way to suffice it, do what the Romans do. Don't try to take your own. Don't try to be talking that Papa's got a brand new bag shit. Okay? Because uh, that ain't even going on. <laughs> don't be talking that one. Anyway, y'all, um, what y'all think about that? I really need to know. This woman got a hundred damn lashes. And her partner only going to get 15. I want to know what you think about it. Do you think it's right? Some of y'all uh, uh, chauvinist pigs out there uh, think that she probably should get more, and he shouldn't get zero. <laughs> but let me let me know what you think. Uh, put it down below, and I'll see you in the next.